A third stabbing in less than a week occurred on Monday, the 1st of May, near the University of California Davis campus, triggering the City of Davis police to issue a shelter in place until Tuesday morning. Officers responded to an adult woman who reported that a suspect stabbed her more than one time through a tent near 2nd Street and L Street, according to the Davis Police Department. The woman was taken to UC Davis Medical Center where she was treated for her wounds. At last notice, the woman was in critical condition. The City of Davis Police issued a shelter-in-place order for people in the community as police searched for the suspect. The order requested people seek safety inside a building and remain there if possible. The order was lifted the following morning after an unsuccessful search for the suspect. The terrifying stabbing marks the third time in less than a week that a person has been stabbed near the college campus. The other two incidents have been fatal. A man was found suffering from multiple stab wounds after a violent attack on the 27th of April near Central Park in downtown Davis, according to law enforcement. Then on the 30th of April, another man, who was a student at UC Davis, died after being violently attacked with a knife at Sycamore Park. Police acknowledged that there were common factors between these two brutal crimes, such as the violent nature of the deaths and the use of a knife. But there were no known connections between the two victims. As of now, police are still investigating the stabbings, as well as any connection they may have to one another. Davis police say they are searching for a suspect who has been described as a five feet six inches to five feet nine inches light-skinned man with curly hair. He has been seen both on foot and riding a bike. As of now. Davis police are partnering with numerous allied agencies from the Yolo and Sacramento areas and conducting detailed searches of surrounding neighborhoods in downtown Davis via drones and K9 units. They're asking people to be aware of their surroundings and consider traveling in groups when out at night.